Hey there, welcome. In today's lesson, we're going to be focusing on the different question types that you can be asked in the IELTS writing test. Now, as you'll know, in task two of IELTS, you have to write an essay. And regardless of whether you're doing the academic or general IELTS test, there are certain question types that appear again and again. Now, those question types are agree-disagree questions, advantage-disadvantage questions, discussion questions, double questions, and direct questions. Now, a little bit later, we're going to be looking at all of these question types and showing you how to identify them and looking at examples. But first of all, let's look at how common the different essay types are. Now, as you can see from this pie chart, the most common question type are the agree-disagree questions. 38% of the time in task two, you're given a agree-disagree question. Okay, 22% of the time, you have an advantage-disadvantage question. So roughly one in five IELTS writing tests have an advantage-disadvantage question. 18% of the time, you have a discussion question 21% of the time you have a double question, and only 2% of the time you'll have a direct question. Now, it's still important to practice all of these different essay types before you go to do your IELTS writing test. However, as we can see from this pie chart, the most common are the agree-disagree questions. Let's have a look at an example. Teacher, sorry, teachers should give their students regular tests as more tests will prepare students better for life after they have left school. To what extent do you agree or disagree with this statement? Okay, so at the beginning you're given a statement or an opinion and then you're asked whether you agree or disagree with this. Now, this uh, task can appear in slightly different ways. You could also be asked, do you agree or disagree, or do you agree or disagree with this opinion? Now, regardless of which one of these it is, it's very easy to identify an agree-disagree question. Now, when we have to write our essay, there are th certain things that we should remember. The first thing is, you don't have to write about both sides of the argument. So, that is to say, you can completely agree or completely disagree with the opinion. You don't have to write about both sides. However, you might choose to, depending on the essay structure that you've chosen. And we'll cover that in a future lesson. Also, you should give your opinion, so what's called your position, in the introduction and conclusion of your essay. Okay, that's very important. So, for example, in this case, you could say something like, I completely agree that teachers should give their students regular tests. Or, I completely disagree that teachers give their students regular tests. Okay, the next question type are the advantage-disadvantage questions. Here's an example. Nowadays, many physical retail shops such as clothing stores, are being replaced by online shops. Do the advantages of this outweigh the disadvantages? Okay, it could also say, do you think the advantages of this development outweigh the disadvantages? Or, is this a positive or negative development? So that's just another way of saying, do the advantages outweigh the disadvantages? Now, you might be thinking, what does outweigh mean? Well, outweigh basically just means which one is bigger or more important, the advantages or disadvantages. And remember, in IELTS, uh, the examiner wants to see your opinion, so it's definitely worthwhile saying which one you think is more important, the advantages or disadvantages. Now, with agree-disagree questions, I said that you can completely agree or completely disagree, so you don't need to write about both sides of the argument. However, for advantage-disadvantage questions, I suggest that you write the, uh, about both the advantages and disadvantages, 
and then as well as including which side you think is more important. Okay, and remember when you do give your opinion, you should also put your opinion in the introduction and conclusion of your essay. Okay, next we have the discussion questions. Let's have a look at an example. Some people think that social networking sites, such as Facebook, have improved communication between young people. Others think that they have made young people less sociable. Discuss both views and give your own opinion. Okay, this is a very typical discussion question. We're given two contrasting ideas, and then we're asked to discuss both of these ideas and then give our own opinion. Now, our own opinion could be agreeing with one side, or it could be saying, well, there's some good points on either, both sides of the argument. As long as you discuss both of these sides and you give your opinion, you're answering the question correctly. Okay, so remember, you do have to discuss both sides and you should give your opinion in the introduction and conclusion as well. Next, we have double questions. Now, double questions are by far the most complex and I think the most difficult to answer in 40 minutes. Let's have a look at an example. Nowadays, more and more people are moving from rural areas to cities for work opportunities. What kind of problems can this trend cause? What could be done to solve these problems? Okay, so this is a double question. It's a problem and solution question. We're given two different questions. The first one asks us to identify the problems. And notice it's problems, so we need to give more than just one problem. And then in the second part, we also need to identify a solution. And ideally, we want to have a solution that's connected to our problems. Right, so if we were writing this essay, we would have body paragraph one that identifies the problems and body paragraph two that identifies the solutions. However, there are other double question types. Have a look at this one. The rate at which animals are becoming endangered is on the rise discuss some possible causes for this trend and suggest ways that people can change their behavior to slow this trend. Okay, so this isn't a problem and solution. In this case, it's a cause and solution. If Even though it says discuss, if you actually look at what it says, it says discuss some possible causes for this trend. And again, it's causes, so we should give more than one. In this case, body paragraph one would look at the causes, not the problems, and body paragraph two would look at the solutions. Now again, there are more double question types that we can encounter. Nowadays, it is becoming increasingly common for family members to live in different countries which are very far from each other. What are the reasons for this? Do the advantages of this trend outweigh the disadvantages? Okay, again, we've got two separate questions that we need to answer in our essay. In this case, the first one looks at the reasons, and then the second question asks us to evaluate whether the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. So, really quite a tricky question to answer in 40 minutes, but it is a common uh, uh, question type. So we'd answer by looking at body paragraph one and uh, identifying the reasons. And then in body paragraph two, we'd have to discuss whether we think the advantages or disadvantages are greater. Now, the final essay type that appears in IELTS are the direct questions. However, they're not so common. Here's an example. Research into new types of medicine is essential to improve health and deal with disease. Who do you think should fund this research? private companies, individuals, or governments? So we're asked a very explicit, direct question. Now, we need to give our opinion in the introduction and conclusion and make sure that this is the question that we're answering. And ideally, our answer will talk a little bit about private companies, individuals, and governments as well. Now, what we're going to do is a little quiz to see if you can identify 
the different question types. So remember, we have the agree-disagree questions, we have the advantage-disadvantage questions, discussion questions, double questions, and direct questions. Now, have a look at this and tell me, what kind of question is it? Is it agree-disagree? Is it an advantage-disadvantage? A discussion? A double? Or a direct question? Now, the clue is always going to be in the task, in the second part. It says, to what extent do you agree or disagree with this statement? So we know we need to write an agree-disagree question. Let's look at the next one. Okay, I'll give you a second to read this and decide what kind of question type is it. Again, look at the bottom part. What are the reasons for this? And how could this problem be solved? Okay, it's a double question. In this case, we're having to identify reasons and then the solutions. Next. Take a second to read it and decide what question type. Okay, it says, do you think the advantages of working for yourself outweigh the drawbacks? It is an advantage-disadvantage question. Next, number four. Okay, we've got two questions here, so we know it's a double question. What are the causes? So we need to identify causes, and what are some possible solutions? So we need to identify solutions. Okay, number five. This quiz has eight questions. Okay, this should be rather clear. It says, to what extent do you agree or disagree with this statement? It's an agree-disagree question. Number six. Okay, so even though we have discussed some ways to encourage people to buy electric vehicles, this discuss isn't a discussion question, it's a double question. At the beginning, we need to identify um, what problems there are, so what stops people from buying electric vehicles, and then in the second part of our essay, we need to have some solutions, so some ways to encourage people to buy electric vehicles. Number seven. It says, do you think the advantages of this development outweigh the disadvantages? It's an advantage-disadvantage question. And finally, number eight, if we see is this a positive or negative development, it's also a advantage-disadvantage question. Right, okay, now attached to this lesson, just below it, you're going to find a PDF with different task two essay questions. Um, and these are questions that you can practice in your own time to get familiar with the type of questions that appear regularly in IELTS writing. Okay, you'll find that in the description below this video. Best of luck with your studies and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye then.